Um, I feel like we get what we what we work for, and we uh, you know, we've been working really hard. So um, it do, as much as it you know it doesn't matter to us because you know what really matters is the outcome of at the end of the year. Um, you know, we still we still uh, hold that to our standard. What do you make of the college basketball season so far? This will be the fourth, no matter what you guys do, it'll be the fourth number one team in the month of November, or since the season has started. Um, we've only played about six games, but, um, you know, this, this just viewing this college basketball season, it's been up and down for, for a lot of teams, and, uh, you know, it's hard to tell <laughs> who will be, like, you know, victorious in the end, but, um, you know, as long as we stick to our principles, Things will fall into place for us. How much did Sunday and how you you all got by Akron kind of help understand what you're up against? Um, you know, like we 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 have to come up with a better strategy for when we have the lead in uh, certain games, and uh, you know we just have to treat the game like you know it's zero zero. So uh, every time we're on the court, that's something we have to be reminded of. Not be reminded of, but we have to go out there and execute. Do you consider yourself a, a good passer out of the post, or how do you look at that? Yeah, I think Is that I'm one of your. Go. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I believe I am a good passer out of the post. I believe uh, pretty mindful of where my teammates will be or where I'll find them. You know, just from previously experience being doubled, and uh, you know, I feel like as effective I am a score, I can be just as effective as a passer with the right patience and, you know, my teammates trusting that I know where they'll be. Is that something you work on a lot? Yeah, I work on that. Defensively, having to face Charles um, Bathy on Friday, you know, what are the difficulties in guarding a guy like that? Um, you know, Charles is a really good player. I played against him this summer when I went out to uh, Cali for the Nike camp. But, um, you know, he's very, he's pretty skilled. He's a great athlete, and uh, you know, as long as we stick to our principles of like you know front of post and stuff like that, we have to we have to just make sure that we can contain him the whole game. Do you look forward to playing against him or somebody yeah. like him? Too? Yeah, definitely. I love I love playing against like you know higher competition and stuff. People people um, you know who give me a challenge and uh, you know just looking forward to this game on Friday. How much does it help now having Malik back, just knowing that you know you don't necessarily have to you know be out there for 28 minutes? Um, having Malik back is is fun. It's been it's been nice, like because uh, you know he's a really, really like really important piece of this team. So um, you know, in practice, you know he helps up our competitiveness. He only he only like makes our team better. Him and David Johnson being back, you know, we're thankful for those two being back. So. Uh, you know, looking looking forward to Friday. You know, that's we uh, we can only cause that much more of a problem for that team. Michigan gotten more um, patient, assertive, maybe that's the right word. When the ball comes in, you're more focused on checking things out, getting set, making a move. Is that by design? Is that something you concentrated on? Yeah, definitely. Being patient in the post is something I've. Uh, uh, definitely pride myself on this summer and uh, coming into this season because, you know, looking back on last season, I make a lot of my mistakes rushing the game or miss a lot of my shots rushing the game more. So um, that was a very important part that I wanted to focus on. Feeling added pressure playing an in-state team like Western Kentucky or anything like that? Um, me personally, no, and I think I can speak for the team as well. We don't, we don't feel pressure as long as we go out there and play our game, you know. So uh, as long as we do that, you know, the game will take care of itself. What kind of things can you do when, when an opponent is making a big run back at you, cutting into that deficit? What kind of things can you guys do as players to kind of refocus yourself? When uh, when a team's on a run. Main thing we like to do with the five guys that are on the court, we like to uh, we like to make sure we, we huddle after every dead ball. Make sure that you know we we are all on the same page because you know the game is about runs. And when we go on our run, we don't make sure it's twice as effective as when the team we're playing against went on their run. So that's kind of like that's a that's an important part. Um, 
Shoot, I, I'd love to say that we're as good as we want to be, but um, I feel like I have a lot of confidence in this team to say that we're one of the best in the country. So uh, we just have to continue to continue to go out there and be the same people every night. And uh, as long as we do that, everything else will take care of itself. You know, we don't pay too much attention to the rankings, but um, I mean, like that's a that's a just a shows what we work for. Defensively, sometimes there are periods and games where it seems like communication's not happening. Some guys miss some rotations. Like, how much of an emphasis has that been in practice just over the past few weeks? Yeah, we we uh we've been improving in that area too because um our communication earlier on, you know, it's it's gotten better, but we were able to point which is like which comes back to the maturity of this team. We were able to point out the importance of of um, our defense where we need to pick up our communication. And I feel like we've done a good job adjusting and getting better in that area. And, you know, no team is perfect, but uh, we're doing a good job of, you know, improving that. Anything else, anyone? No problem.